Hey St. Louis, I'm Dr. Fred Eccles, Acting Director of Health with the City of St. Louis. On Friday, May 14th, the City of St. Louis and St. Louis County adjusted their approach to slowing the spread of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. The jurisdictions rescinded their health orders related to the pandemic and announced that moving forward, personal responsibility would be relied on. Our questions this week focused on this new approach and the rescinding of the city's health commissioner's orders. Eric from zip code 63107 asks, since the city has eliminated all the COVID-19 health commissioner's orders, does that mean the pandemic is over? Absolutely not. Although we have reached some key benchmarks in our COVID-19 response efforts, the pandemic is far from over. Rescinding our COVID-19 health orders simply results in a shifting of our mitigation efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. We have arrived at a point in the pandemic where we can lean more heavily on personal responsibility to prevent further spread of SARS-CoV-2. The path to the end of the pandemic now relies heavily on individuals, academic institutions, religious institutions, places of worship, and businesses to do the right thing. Jacqueline from zip code 63110 asks, why did the city and county cancel their COVID-19 health orders? Due to the increase in the supply of COVID-19 vaccines and the ongoing daily increase in the number of residents getting vaccinated in the city of St. Louis and St. Louis County, both jurisdictions rescinded their health orders. Trends and data show the metro area has reached significant benchmarks for new confirmed cases, new hospital admissions, total hospitalized patients, and positivity rates. We are at a place where individual responsibility rather than regulatory oversight can be implemented. Nathan from zip code 63121 asks, how are youth sports impacted with the city's COVID-19 health orders being rescinded? One key difference that resulted after rescinding of the city's health commissioner's orders is testing is no longer required for youth who participate in moderate and high frequency contact sports. Although testing is no longer required, the practice is recommended by the City of St. Louis Department of Health because many youth remain ineligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Also, sports organizers, parents, and school athletic administrators are reminded that athletes remain at increased risk of spreading COVID-19 when participating in close contact or indoor sports. The CDC recommends not engaging in close contact sports with those who you do not live with. If you choose not to follow this recommendation, the CDC recommends wearing a face covering, playing outdoors, staying at least six feet away from others, avoiding crowds, and if you are eligible, getting vaccinated. Thomas from zip code 63108 asks, will large venues and businesses in the city still be required to submit COVID-19 operational plans to the Department of Health for approval? COVID-19 operational plans are no longer required in the city of St. Louis for large venues and businesses. Although no longer required, the city of St. Louis Department of Health recommends venues and businesses continue submitting their plans and plan updates to the department for review and input. As the shift is made from local guidelines to CDC guidance, the Department of Health can be a helpful resource in assisting with this guidance to ensure venues or businesses take steps to provide a healthy and safe environment for their employees and patrons. Thank you so much for tuning in this week and a big thank you to Eric, Jacqueline, Nathan, and Thomas for submitting questions. Be sure to tune in next week for more critical public health information. I really want to hear from you, St. Louis. Please send your questions to health at stlewis-mo.gov. Questions will be answered in the order they are received. If I run out of time on air, your question will be answered by return email. Be well. <laughs>